I don't ever win anything, so this is like super weird. <laughs> A local veteran there received a special surprise from one of our local businesses. Take a look there. The Dream Team Heating and Air over in Gonzales surprised veteran Dylan Stewart with a free air conditioner. Elise Corville was there for the big moment. She shares his reaction. Huddled behind a garage door, a representative from Dream Team Heating and Air in Gonzales had a big time surprise, all for an active Army National Guardsman. It's kind of crazy. It really is. It's, it's, it's a shock. I mean, but being down here in Louisiana, a lot of people are super supportive of the, of the, of the military as a whole, so it just goes to show that, you know, we're, we're going in the right direction. For eight years, Dylan Stewart has served his country, but today he is the one on the receiving end of something special. Just being able to be le the, the less than 1% that go out there and, you know, are willing to be a part of something bigger than themselves. When the door opened, he was greeted with smiles, cheers, balloons, and flowers. But that wasn't all. The local company will install a new AC unit free of charge for the local hero and his family. We were going to have to spend, uh, we were looking at like $85,000 to be able to get this house back to the way it needs to be. And that's definitely going to take a huge portion off of it. Having them come out and have Dream Team come and say, hey, you know, you want a free air conditioner, that to, to me is just so crazy. And the surprise could not have come at a better time. My grandmother, she's getting a little bit older, and uh, we volunteered to come out here and take care of her, so we're selling our house to come over here and, and be with her so that way she can have people here full time and then she can also spend time with our kids and stuff. Although the surprise came today, tomorrow is the real treat for Stewart. It's a day he feels the most honored to be a part of. For a lot of us, it's kind of like a holiday to get together to go out and to be able to represent the ones that have gone before us and that are going to go after us. Elise Corville for WAFB 9 News.